Hi guys, so in today's homework lesson, what we're going to be doing is working with images and transferring uh, photographs and turning them into vector art that we can use for the laser cutter. Uh, your homework is uh, going to be part of this, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's click on new document or new file if we haven't already done that. Uh, and we're going to start with a uh, 4 by 4 inch um, artboard. Uh, this is the size that we're going to be actually cutting in uh, during class. At this point, Command R will bring up our ruler, and you can see uh, that it is 4 by 4 inches. Uh, so right now, instead of actually drawing or working with um, some of the tools here, we're going to be bringing in artwork uh, into this space uh, and working with it in that way. So let's get started. Let's uh, go out on the internet and find a piece of art. Uh, for me, I found this uh, silhouette of this uh, girl, uh, and uh, because I know that this will translate nicely into a vector art piece, uh, I went ahead and um, just copied it and downloaded it to my computer. So the way you normally uh, turn something uh, currently, as you can see, this is pixel art. You can see the pixels when I zoom in uh, here. Command zero to zoom out and a little further back. You can see it's very big, so holding the shift key down uh, allows me to scale it because I'm in my selection tool, V for selection. Now it fits uh, nicely on uh, my artboard, you can kind of see. So I kind of get it uh, almost fit to be like where I want it to be. Command zero. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually trace the outline and you can see it wants to image trace right away with this floating uh, thing that you might not have but you might have. You also notice that when you select an image by default you have image trace button up here as well and in class the way we did it as we went to windows workspace I mean windows and then we selected the image trace um, uh, window and this was important because uh, we're going to be working with some of the advanced features uh, to get this um, traced so by default should be in black and white mode but if it's not go ahead and select black and white we're going to select the um, the image here and then we're going to click on the preview tab the minute you click on preview you have now uh, turned this object into outlines and you can see that uh, if you go to tracing results here you just select with outlines and it'll show you all the the uh, teal outlines that uh, actually it's used now the threshold slider allows you to uh, if I unpreview this it actually never goes back to the unpreviewed version um, but if you use the threshold slider you'll notice that things uh, the blacks become more pronounced and uh, the white areas become less important you can kind of see you can either thicken things up uh, like this eyelash uh, with the higher threshold or lower things make things thinner uh, and more wispy. Uh, inside of the uh, advanced area here, uh, this allows the path to be more or less complex. You'll notice that there's a little blockiness here, uh, and that's because it's kind of a medium path. So if you went high, you'll notice you get more of the detail. Um, you can also use the noise to reduce to make it smoother by bringing this up or by lowering the no noise and you'll notice that everything becomes a little more rough so by default it's kind of in the middle you might not have the simplify button depending on your version the most important thing uh, for our class was this overlapping um, uh, button you have to press this button I think I said this in class several times um, if you press this button you were gonna have issues because we're gonna get multiple paths and that means that the laser will cut the same area twice so again you have to remember to, to click this button overlapping uh, when you're creating your object uh, at this point the object is created even though you don't notice it uh, but what we need to do is one more uh, button, and that is the expand button. So we click the expand button. We now have a vector piece of art. Uh, and at this point, it's time for us to get rid of uh, some of the garbage that we don't need. By def um, you, As you can see, there's no stroke. It's hidden, and then uh, it doesn't know what the color is. If you hit the letter D for default, you'll notice that you've made a black outline, and you've made... Uh, a white fill which helps us to figure out what's being uh, done here uh, we also need to ungroup this object because we brought it in as an um, as an image so I'm going to select ungroup and now I'm going to use my selection tool click away from the object like over here and now I'm going to click like into the object because it's ungrouped 
I can now start selecting these paths, like there's this outer path here. I'm going to select it and hit the delete button. You'll notice if I zoom in here, I can select the, these words and hit the delete button, which is something I don't want. And then I can look around and I'm, um, I think I've got everything I need, but just to be sure, I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to select the letter A or direct selection tool. This will actually give me a very nice overview of the path that I've got and how it's going to cut. I'm going to modify this by moving it so that it all fits inside uh, holding the shift key down uh, and using my regular selection tool. I'm going to modify this and then this will be uh, the outline that I cut uh, in class for my laser project. So this is the basic um, bringing an image in and turning it into a vector object that can be cut with the laser cutter. And you'll notice that <coughs> With the direct selection tool, you'll actually see the outlines uh, that are going to get cut. And if you want to very much see them, you can turn your strokes. You can select everything. Uh, just select all, Command A. And then just turn the stroke to zero or nothing. Don't deselect, but you'll see the actual path that the laser cutter we're going to follow. If you click away from this, obviously, everything is lost because you can't see anything. So select all. Uh, and then bring the stroke back up uh, maybe to one or whatever. Now remember, if you've got multiple objects here, like you've got this, uh, oh, I'm, I've got to go on my selection tool. If you've got multiple objects here, you think you're um, seeing something you know, that's transparent, but remember, this is not transparent. Uh, we see a white here. So uh, you might have something behind here and you don't even know it. Like for instance, uh, say you have this rectangle and you accidentally uh, arranged it and made it go to uh, the back you won't see this rectangle in the laser cutter but the laser cutter will cut this so don't forget once you're done with everything select everything and then make sure that this fill color is transparent once you do that you'll see oh there's a rectangle back here and i don't want to have her head cut out so i'm just going to delete that <clears throat> okay uh, let's try something. I just wanted to show you something specifically that uh, we didn't have a chance to do in class. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to bring in this uh, circle JPEG uh, and make it smaller. Uh, and holding the shift key down, that does it. And then I'm just going to put that here and I'm going to copy it and then paste it here so that we have two versions of this circle just so you can see how uh, this image trace works. I'm going to click my image trace button here and in order to open up the window I can also do it here uh, and that'll bring up our window that we saw under Windows image trace right um, and I'm going to select this object hit preview which it already is uh, but this time I'm going to select the first method um, where it creates the cutting paths right so this one has the first method then I'm going to select this one and I'm going to create the second I'm going to select the second method so I'm going to preview it and select the second method by default and then what I will do is expand this one and then for this one I'm going to expand it but it has the first method so the second one had the second method the first one had the first method uh, what are the differences and how are how are things going to look so let's select the first one we know that this was the bad method that we do not want we're going to ungroup it and then we'll select the second one and do the same thing, ungroup it so we can see it. So here, if I select the, if I add, click on the white, you'll notice that this path right here, just by default, let's go ahead and hit the default button for all of these, D for default. Uh, you'll notice that this path is the white that we had and it'll actually cut exactly this but it'll also cut the same path twice because you'll notice here it also cuts the black so that cut cut this is a double cut and this will actually burn up the laser which is why you don't want to do it whereas for this other one uh, I'll just D for default you'll see if I move this out of the way uh, there is we could delete that because that's the outside we don't want that but if you move this one out of the way, you'll notice it doesn't double up here, right? And if I move this one out of the way and this one out of the way, it's only one line per, uh, per object. 
So whereas this one, we're doing one line, but you'll notice that there's a line that was underneath, right? Or we move this one, and there's still that other line underneath. So you can kind of see the issue here associated with this technique. Just a lot more lines, which means that the laser will double cut everything. So please, whatever you do, let's go out of here, uh, make sure you're using the right um, method when you're actually image tracing. Okay, our final thing is to bring in an image that's actually a photograph. So we have a photograph uh, that we're going to use of Jimi Hendrix here. And we'll just drag this in. Uh, and we'll worry about the sizing a little bit later. Uh, but let's just make it a little smaller just so you can see it. Now, to image trace something like this, uh, we'll click on the image trace button. And we'll go to our... Um, palette here and you'll notice that now some of these sliders start to make more sense so before we had um, and we're still in our black and white mode and again here's our source image right you'll notice that there's some darks some lights and what this threshold is doing is saying add more weight to the darks uh, and less to the lights. so you can see if I view the tracing results and I increase the threshold you'll see that the darks uh, become more prevalent so you get a thicker look and then if I increase the th decrease the threshold it becomes um, less important the lights become more um, more dominant right so you'll use the threshold slider to until you get something that looks to your liking the path slider works the same way as we talked about before the bigger the, the number the more complicated the laser cut paths here uh, the noise does the same thing. It either simplifies uh, things or it com makes things more complex. And again, our method button, we need to definitely make sure we select the right one for laser cutting. Uh, at this point, we can hit uh, expand and we'll clear away our image trace. And at this point, it's just cleanup time. So I select everything, uh, which it already is. I hit D for default. And then I go through and after ungrouping this, I go through and I select the objects I do not want to include uh, in my um, in my thing. So let's see, there's this. If I hit delete on some, some things, now remember, you have to select everything and make sure that you can see through it so that you can see the things uh, that you do not want. For me, the second line, you can kind of see it here, this part, I might want to like decide whether I want that. It looks like I do. Um, let's see. I'm going to take everything here and holding the shift key down, just make it smaller so it fits on my uh, thing here. But you'll notice that there's like some double cutting that's happening here. Um, and so what you could do is, you know, select these lines that you think you might not want and hit delete and see if that makes the image itself a little bit better. And don't forget, you're going to be uh, adding color back into this if you were to paint it, right? So if you were to like bring this back like this, you would be painting that, uh, that laser cut object, right? Um, even though it's clear right now. Uh, so you can then uh, select elements that you think are just too small for the laser cutter to cut and just go through and hand delete them um, or modify them uh, with the uh, direct selection tool. Um, some things will overlap like this, which will be a problem. Um, so uh, that's how you would work with a photograph. You would vectorize it, and then you would um, see what some of the problems are, fix them by hand, and then once you're happy with this, uh, it'll cut everything out um, in the way that you see it here. And then you can reassemble it. I uh, hope this helps, and uh, look forward to seeing what you guys do for the homework.